So for today, we're going to be looking at Warlocks. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the Donning 2023 set, individual sets. So if you guys don't know, we have already reviewed the armor and the shaders for it. It's right here. You guys can check it out. For the shaders specifically, we all... Uh, what I started doing was just showing you my favorites because if I did all of them, it would take forever and I've legitimately fallen asleep doing that. So for now, we're going to stick to my favorites and then hopefully Bungie gives us more favorite slots because apparently we're only allowed like, what was it? 50, I think it was. So that's pretty unfortunate. But we also have already done the Hunter and Titan videos. They're both where you guys can check them out. I am really, really sorry that this videos took way too long to make and it's this by if this is going how I think it's going, this video should be up going up by Monday or hopefully early Monday. So that way, Warlocks, you guys can have some chance to get at these pieces because oh, I'm, oh my God, dude, let me tell you, I'm going to be gushing for almost all of these aside from like one because that one's like not bad, but it's definitely not at the level that the, the other three. So let's just get into it again. Check those videos out that I made like comment, subscribe, because I do think my content is worth it. Not only do I post some dope content, but I don't I post a lot of content. So remember, hit the bell notification if you want to keep up to date with my current content. Other than that, bro, look at this shit. This looks so amazing. I legit, when I made this, I was shooketh, bro. The only thing I could tell you is I like maybe just switch out the bond and not, don't have a bond there. Like that would be my only like thing. Like, oh yeah, if you run, want it to be like super duper symmetrical, just take the bond out. It don't really matter. But this looks amazing. So helmet, we're gonna be using the opulent Strix hood. This is the uh, donning helmet. I think it looks cool when you combine it with the Atavastic Idol vestment. Oh my God, it looks amazing. But we also have Eyes of Mercury ornament for the sun bracers. This one is super dope because it also does have feathers. And it's really, really cool because this gives me more of a bird feel because obviously birds don't have just one solar color i mean a lot of do but most that i like don't a lot of them have different colors so this one has purple color or purple feathers and white feathers and i think that's so dope uh boots opulent strict boots because i want it um, uh, i want it below at the bottom as well and then for the bond virtuous bond with jacarina on it because i didn't like how night chills looked i think it was red so i have combined eyes of mercury with night chill so many times this time, however, I think is my favorite. I think this looks amazing. And I definitely look like an Egyptian god with this. It's so dope. I definitely would recommend this ornament, specifically the donning ornament, just for this look. Because it looks amazing. Let me know what you guys think. Again, I would most likely just take out the Virtuous Bond. As much as I like the fact that it has feather, like glowing feathers, I think it takes too much away. And I would honestly just take that away at this point. I would just have both arms be symmetrical. So that way it just looks amazing. I mean, not saying it doesn't look amazing now. It looks super dope, but it's been a while since I've been this excited for an ornament. Let me just say that, or specifically like a set that I made. As for the next set, you guys will notice that I'm using the helmet again. So this is where it gets funny because I didn't use the, the uh, class item at all because I'm not a big fan of the, the class item. I think it looks like crap. So that being said, I did end up using the helmet twice and then the chest piece twice. And you guys will see why. Unfortunately, I I did use the I did. I used everything but the or the bond. Let me just say that. But this one, we're using the helmet and the opulent strict gloves with the hex rot robes for the exotic. We're using lace striders ornament for the Luna faction boots because it does have fur or feathers in there. But I completely just destroyed that whole look because they were kind of pissing me off. Unfortunately, the lace riders have a few pieces that don't change color. And at the end of the day, I just started getting annoyed, more annoyed, more annoyed. And then I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to cover you up with hex raw robes. And I actually think it looks really cool for the bond ancestral bond with iron to steel. So that way I can have no bond and honestly get used to it because the next one I think doesn't have bond either. Or yeah, it doesn't <laughs> because honestly, most bonds just don't look good. And the asymmetry just pisses me off. So for the shadering dreaming cast for everything, but the bond, just because I like the colors, honestly, that's really nothing else. Honestly, I don't really have much to say about this one. It does look cool. And this is where it gets to the level of like, it looks cool. I would grade this like maybe a seven, but the other ones are legit like nines and tens, bro. So that's why I'm like, it looks cool. But let me just show you this one right here. This one is amazing. Helmet, Atavastic Idol Hood with the Opulent Strix robes for the boots 
and themic invocation boots because obviously I'm going for a bird look and then ancestral bond with iron to steel again because I don't want to bond on this one and then for the gauntlets we're using the claws of Ahamkara so I think this set is amazing probably one of my more dope sets that I've made this year it really sucks guy and I hate that I realized this so late but I really should have made a best of the year sets for the classes I really should have done that I honestly might still make it I'll probably just make it in January um just because I, I really want to make that video because I've made some dope sets this year but let me know what you guys think about this one I really like this one a lot I think the only thing I would switch out is the shadering that being said though the Atavastic Idol Hood and the Opulent Strix robes chain or take the colors differently which is why i'm using echoed anger because echoed anger combines all of the fur like the feathers into one color so if you want to take this set just be aware that you're going to be fighting the atavastic idol hood with the opulent strix unless you don't care about combining the feather coloring then that should be fine and then last but not least another set with the chest piece and i think this one is even more like i wouldn't say cooler because it does look cool and i do like the other one but when you put it side to side i don't know like i think both of them are equally good the only thing that's a negative for this one is i think the arms i think the arms could have been used or the arms could have had a better piece for the helmet we're going to be using the don chorus with the phoenix renaissance ornament for the arms candescent gloves the arms are going to the chest piece is going to be the opulent streets robes like i said the atavastic idol boots for the boots and then the elect of the empty bond for the bond so this one i it's funny because this is not a void exotic uh if you guys know don chorus is a solar one but honestly i don't think that matters if you're gonna make a dope set and you're worried about like oh what's subclass coloring i think you're missing the point you just make something dope and this one looks super dope like honestly i'm really really proud of this one as well i honestly want to say this one is the best one but the first i think it's like between the first and the and this one both of them are just like such a different level of like what the fuck so i definitely think this one is up there with the first one let me know what you guys think the shadering vitrified duality i always talk about this when we do a ada video but I definitely think Vitrified Duality is a dope shader. I also will have last call video for tomorrow. That one is going to be a little bit different because I didn't do the challenges for this week. So I will most likely put the challenges in there as well. So that way people can get a, a rough idea of what to expect for or just just to because that's what I want to do. So let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate you guys coming up to this point again like comment subscribe really does. I re really does help the channel grow and it really just motivates me to make more content for you guys remember comment as well i really like to see people's comments it really motivates me and i just like to talk to you guys so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you be safe i will see you guys later